Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you guys how to solve all your MySQL insert problems with the last insert ID function. I'm Diogo Vegas and watch until the end so you don't have any more trouble inserting stuff such as foreign key problems and etc. First thing I'm going to do is open here our shump and open both Apache and MySQL just to make sure but probably you could even close the Apache. Then you're going to SQL and you're going to create a database just the two of us together. Create database text material since you are going to create something about text and titles use text material then you're going to create a table which is going to have the title which is going to be the main table of our database the first one is going to be an int id with primary key key and auto increment then you are going to create also the content and the content is going to be varchar a max of 50 characters i think that's pretty fair for a title then you're going to close this and you're going to create another table which is going to be called text but since it's reserved word of mysql we need to put this is accent i don't know the name in english then you are going to put the id as well int primary key auto increment as always we don't do any any primary key without an auto increment of course then you are going to put a content with Varshar and 300 characters seems really fair since we are not going to use this much anyways but just to make sure. Then we are going to also put a last, I almost gave you a spoiler, here we are going to put the title id which is going to be int, simply that, and we are going to also make it a foreign key, key title id references with the content, not the content, with the id of the title. Okay, I'm just going to press here go, here we go. Now the title, the text, here we go. It's like we've just created. It's all good, okay? Now we are going to start inserting stuff. If I want to insert into the title some content, which is going to be my day, are going to get inserted. The ID is automatic since it's auto increment. And I'm going to select the last ID. Select, last, insert, it's not insert, but insert only. Go, and there you go. Zero, because we could not recognize it. When it's zero, it's because it's not working properly. Or your primary key is kind of strange, because primary keys with zero, it's not usual. So, what do we do? We cannot insert and then read the last insert ID with two different queries. We need to do it in the same query. Let me show you guys. Insert values. No, it's not values. Into title content okay it's kind of buggy i know content values now it's going to work properly then you are going to put select last insert id now you are going to go and we got a last insert id of two which is really this one the content two not big trouble right so what if you want to insert a text which is going to be correlated to the title well you are going to insert into title content values my fairy tales why not right it's it's kind of strange but it is what it is and then we are going to insert something else a text in this case okay there we go we are going to insert the content but also title id and the values we are going to use it's going to be one day and to get the last id of course we don't need to do a select we just need to put this comment here which you select but we don't put a select and this is going to work hopefully exactly we've insert with the last insert id not even the query knows it will just ask for the function and try to reach it out title id 3 and the content here my fairy tales the three as well now for the possibility that you want to insert two different text into the same title what we do we are going to copy paste we are going to change my fairy tales to that days of happiness because we are very happy and this should be not well written but not bad one day second day and this is going to be the first one and here we go we are going to insert two texts for the same title we set it okay i made a pretty mistake but i can show you and i will give you even a better showing you see the title id of four and the title id of two, of two. why because the four it's the title and the two it's because it's the second id of the first day so if i just do the same thing in here and i just copy and paste it will give me an error 
it's it's not well written but doesn't matter what i want to show you guys is this you cannot add or update a child row for in key constraint files this is what i was trying to explain if you insert this one it's going to get the last insert id of the title but if you insert this second the second text last insert id it's going to insert with the id of this first text because it only works with the last insert now if you want to do multiple inserts of the same table you can do this in a different way i'm going to show you guys so it does not give you an error you just put commas in here instead of the other one we are we're using there you go values i don't know why it is not working values yes we just put this because we've already selected what we want to insert so we just remove all of this and now we are going to insert all of these rows multiple rows within the same insert let's just go and there you go we've inserted multiple content with the same last insert id it didn't give an error so if we go check it's all not all but just these ones with the six id okay that's nice but there's also one more thing that i want to show you guys and it is the variable setting in mysql so what i want to do is insert into title content values of the the variable setting part two it's just the first part but let's go why not and then we are going to put multiple as well okay i've just run it by mistake but it is not going to work because of the last insert id then we are going to put multiple second day it doesn't matter and we are going to set a variable called last title id it's something that i like to do instead of putting insert since it's going to be redundant and not really understandable i just put here the name of the table which is going to be title and anyway, it's going to be equals to the last last insert id function and instead of calling for the function we are going to call for this variable which already has a value. And like this, everything is going to have the last insert of this title instead of always replacing for the previous insert. So if you go it, yes, we ran it and it also worked properly. The seventh, I don't know why, it's because of something I didn't, yes, no, yes, I don't know, yes, Okay, now I understand. It was because of something that doesn't matter. It's because of the first time that we run it and it gave an error. The second time that we actually didn't get an error, it inserts properly. So guys, in this video, it's everything. You learned how to use the last insert ID, how to insert multiple roles within the same insert, teach you guys uh, what you can't do with, with the last insert ID, and I've also teach you guys how to set variables in MySQL. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next video.